Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Advanced Wars 2 The Hard Campaign. We are about to jump into our second mission. Uh, and this time around, we are playing as Max. Armies on both sides, a river in the middle. Let the hostilities begin. Hey, Orange Star Dogs, can you hear me? I'm Lord Flack, the microphone. Shut up, too complicated. Anyone there? Or are you too scared to face me? What's up with the racket? You lonely or something? <laughs> Look, a gorilla. <laughs> what did you say? If anyone hears a gorilla, it's you, ape man. I'm no ape, I'm Fleck. Fleck? What's that? Some sort of code name? Listen up, Fleck. My name's Max. Now tell me what you jerks are doing rampaging to our country. Your country? Orange Star belongs to the Black Hole Army now. You complain, you get hurt. You think so? Give it your best shot. Alright. <laughs> Mission 2, Orange Dawn. This is another hard mode exclusive and a very interesting one. Max, calm down. Nell? To lose your head is to lose the fight. I taught you that, remember? Yes, but I... Uh, it's just... Uh, I understand your anger, Max. No one likes seeing their homeland ravaged. All the more reason to proceed calmly and rationally. Use your head and drive these fiends from our borders, okay? You got it. Let's rule. Right. So Max is no longer as overpowered as he used to be in Advanced Wars 1. Uh, now he has a much more respectable 20% uh, firepower instead of plus 50%, which was just, just laughable. So he's a lot more balanced in this game. He's quite strong still, though. I mean, 20, plus 20% is very good. Uh, he has, uh, still has his Max Force, which I do believe only sets his firepower up to 40% in this game, and Max Blast, which sets it up to 60%, but he does get plus 2 movement from his Max Blast. So it's a very strong superpower, actually. I think Max is, is quite competent. So this mission, it's a bit annoying, the layout. You have to, like, walk a very weird and roundabout way in order to get to Flak. And there's also a new little tool here. We have a uh, laser cannon. It will shoot diagonally. Uh, it has global range, so it basically shoots on everything that comes within it, and it deals 5 HP of damage. In this mission, though, you can exploit it against the enemy by forcing them to take engagements in their own laser range, which is quite nice. So, uh, what I actually like to do here is uh, I like to start off with an APC. And what's kind of annoying, like, the only complaint I have about these, like, new cannons and stuff like that is that you have to watch their animation every single time, which is just a little annoying. Mm -mm -mm. So what I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to try and go for the harbor immediately, and I actually have to get out a battleship in order to take the black cannon, which is a little annoying, but it's kind of how you have to do this. So... Here, it's tempting to go on here. I do believe that might make me reach the harbor one tile sooner, but I want to keep this APC alive. So I'm actually not going to do that. And I'm going to build a second APC, and then I'm actually not going to build anything else. I'm actually going to save up my money for a battleship. Now, taking this base, it's not going to be possible until you, uh, get, uh, uh, until you get a battleship out. Yeah, so right now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do the same thing here. And yeah, at this point, I am just going to save my money for a battleship. Uh, this map is, I think, is really built around getting a battleship as max. And it's really annoying because with the minus 10% firepower, it means the uh, laser cannon will die in three shots rather than two. So I do believe they really constructed this mission to allow you to really feel max's weakness, if you will. So yeah, at this point, I definitely want to start capturing the harbor. Let's see, what's my income right now? 5,000. So will I actually get the... Uh 5,000, 18,000. I think I should be able to afford the, um, the battleship if I don't build anything. So I'll get 10,000. Uh, actually, I'll spend two turns capturing, and then I have to spend a turn moving away. So I think I might be okay here. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna do this, and then I'm gonna, uh, drop off the, uh, do I want this harbor? I guess I want this harbor. I could have probably dropped my infantry off. Oh well. And I'm actually gonna send this uh, APC over here. 
and I'm gonna position it right here so that a tank has to Basically, if he wants to attack my APC, he needs to take a shot from the laser cannon, which is going to be very good for me. So yeah, I do believe if my math is correct, which I hope it is, uh, I should be able to afford that battleship as soon as I capture the harbor. Uh, yeah, I do believe so. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. God damn it, I missed by one. I built an infantry too much. Oh well. It shouldn't be a big deal. Actually, yeah, no, I, I actually did screw up here. Yeah, I shouldn't have built that last infantry, because now I won't be able to afford the battleship. So that's a little bit annoying, but we'll see if I can still make it work. Oh, no, never mind. I'm Angst Method. I am able to afford the battleship. Never mind. I am stupid, apparently. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, sweet. So yeah, I'm not gonna try and capture that base right away. That's pretty hopeless. Like that, there's no point in trying that. Not until the not until the laser cannon is dealt with. You can try and join cap. It's a possibility, but in my opinion, it seldom really works out. But yeah, the tank is gonna move in and it's gonna shoot on my APC, and then um, he's gonna be forced to take some very nice damage. So, it's actually a good thing that we don't kill it right away, because we do want to use it to damage this tank. So, what I can do now, if I want to, is I can actually start to capture the base. I'll take one more, sh I'll take two more shots. But, if I join cap my infantry together, I will actually have the base one turn sooner. However, I think at this point, it's probably better to just build up an economy. Now, at this point, I will build an infantry here, and I will try to capture the city right here. Aside from that, though, I don't really want to build anything in my opening bases. So he's gonna attack my APC here. Now this is gonna hurt quite a bit. So I definitely wanna pull my, I wanna exchange this APC with a healthy APC now. But as you can see, I can choke point him quite nicely here. So at this point, uh, this is why you need a second APC. I'm gonna send my APC down here. And I'm gonna move this APC up here. And then we'll take another shot. So you see, because Max has minus 10% firepower, he exactly doesn't kill this thing in one turn, which is a little bit annoying. But it's also good for us in this situation right here, because it means we'll take another shot at the tank. And that means the tank will uh, spend quite a lot longer um, killing our APC, which is very good. And the black cannon always, or the, black, the laser always fires first, which is also very good. So there we go. That's how you want to do it. Now, the AI will never place itself in range with the laser cannon unless it has to. Now, what you can also do here is you can delay... Uh, you can delay shooting on the, uh, the laser cannon for one more turn and ensure that this tank spends even longer killing our APC. But I'm not going to do that because I want to get the base. And what I'm also going to do here is... Uh, I'm going to put the APC here. I'm just going to delay him for as long as possible. Now, there is a chance he could get a slightly good luck roll here and kill the APC, which would be very bad for us. But overall, I think we will be fine. Because the AI is not smart enough to pull its forces back when it should be pulling its forces back. So let's see what he ends up doing. Let's see if he gets a good luck roll here. Okay, he did not get a good luck roll. That's very good. With Flak, you never quite know. Okay, so he will kill that thing next turn, but that's okay, because we have a battleship in range now. So what we can do now is uh, we can try and prevent him at least from taking our city. And we're going to be building a uh, Neo tank on the next turn, most likely. So yeah, we're just going to sacrifice those APCs to the Advanced Force God, that's okay. That is a dead APC, and he should kill the other APC as well. Now, this is not great for our technique ranking, I will say. But uh, it also means that we will be able to get those cities, which is kind of important right now. Oh, never mind. We can't build a Neo tank. <laughs> We're playing the campaign. I'm stupid. Yeah, I just realized that. It's going to have to be medium tanks then, I guess. So now I'm going to be building a lander. Let's uh, transport two infantry along the shoreline. 
And yeah, this, this battleship, while it has reduced firepower, is still going to be able to do quite a lot of damage here. Now, when you play like this, though, your power ranking might hurt a little bit. So you have to be a little cautious. Now, he'll still attack your infantry, but since he's flak, shouldn't really do a lot of damage here. And our infantry should be fine. Now, the AI is a lot more aggressive in Advanced Wars 2, I find. But these infantry should actually be able to hold out for quite a long while on the city, thanks to the healing. As long as we take shots at his tanks and his rockets. Now, I do believe battleships have one extra range compared to rockets. I do believe uh, max battleships and rockets should be equal. And they have a little bit more minimum range, but aside from that, they're fine. Alright, very nice. Now, we're going to start to transport our infantry towards the shoreline. The infantry are not really going to be able to do much otherwise, so it's kind of important to do this. And yeah, we're just going to be keep, keep building medium tanks, pretty much. And with these medium tanks, and with the help of the battleship, we should be able to push our way through the river. And yeah, he's going to keep attacking us here. But as I said, these infantry will be able to hold out for quite a long time. In fact, I think they'll actually win this engagement, given enough time. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're going to struggle a little bit now, though. I might have to help them out with the battleship now. But they're doing a very good job just holding up his units. But yeah, I think the time has come to help out here a little bit. So let's do... Uh, actually, we're gonna... Hmm, we're gonna be a little bit cautious right now because we do not want... We do not want our infantry to get wiped out. So maybe we should attack something else. Nah, you know what? Yeah, I'm kind of worried that this infantry will attack me, you see. So I think I might just not do anything here. And instead just... Uh, you know what? No, I'll do this. There we go. Good job. And now we can't really afford a tank, so we're just going to build a regular tank instead. Although we could also build an anti-air. Anti-air are, are good at one-shotting infantry, which might actually be pretty use useful here. So let's actually do that. Now, you can actually uh, transport units from your, uh, from your main base right now, which actually can be quite nice. Um, but I do want to wait for this medium tank to go away. Or at least, uh, move away from his HQ. Now what you can also do is you can damage his lander. You can move your battleship in range and you can start shooting on his lander, because you see, the AI is very stupid. The AI will always build landers. Uh, it always... It, it, there's like an AI thing where it wants at least one lander, it's like the one lander policy. So if you keep shooting down his lander, he will actually keep... Yeah, see, he built another lander there, which is just hilarious. I don't know why he does this. It's kind of funny. Anyway, I'm not going to let you have this city, buddy. Now, at some point, we will need to resupply our battleship. It will actually run out of ammo. But yeah, we just need to take our time and just get Flak out of this area. Uh, there we go. This is why I built anti-air, just to clean away the trash. But yeah, I could actually start f firing on his lander right now. And I think I will. Uh, I'm gonna build yet... It's tempting to build a medium tank to go into his base here. In fact, I think I will do that. Yeah, I'll build a medium tank here and transport it. But I'll build an infantry here instead. But yeah, you know what? I will do that. Let's uh, start to drain this economy a little bit, because he'll, he'll, he'll be forced to spend a lot of repairs on this lander, which is very good for us. Alright, here comes the brute force, possibly. Yep. Why well, think when you can fight? Okay, very good. He's sending his uh, medium tank away, which is very good for us. Right, this might hurt a little bit. Nah, we're fine. And yes, we will transport a... Uh, we could, honestly, what we could do is we could uh, we could start by transporting a medium tank and an anti-air. And then we could bring in the infantry later on. And yeah, I'm just going to kill this lander, forcing him to build a new one. It's going to pretty much prevent him from doing anything in his base, because he doesn't have the income to keep building a lander. Yeah, 
I will be saving that Max Force, possibly saving up for a Max Blast even. Huh, <sighs> Advanced Force 1 would have killed here. Or what Advanced Force 1 Max would have killed here. There we go. And let's just build more infantry. And at this point, I do believe we should start charging towards them. We could kill just to get some... Uh, ah, hmm. Actually, I'm just going to wipe him out here completely first. There we go. And then I'm going to move my tanks. Normal tanks are pretty good here for reaching the rockets and artillery, but I can also sold, zone them out with my battleship, which is a thing you can do. I just want this medium tank to move away. There we go. Good job. All right. That's quite beautiful. So would we... I don't want his mechs to get the first strike on my, uh... Hmm. Maybe I'll just, uh, hold on to the anti-air for now, because as I said, I don't want his mech to get the first strike on me. So I think I will just do this. We'll just hold, uh, hold the anti-air for now. Alright, let's go. We gotta zone out that rocket, very important. We have four shots left on our battleships, so we should be okay here. Anyway, let's go get this harbor. And yeah, I'm pretty much just ignoring this APC right now. Uh, let's see, build a tank. At this point, I guess we could just spam some infantry to get a better technique score. Again, if you spam units, your technique ranking will actually go up. Oh, actually, it's moving its rockets back. That is kind of interesting. Can I reach it? If I pop Max Forest, I can destroy its rocket. This might be a good time to pop Max Force, actually. Let's go. When I test might, I won't lose. This could be good for our power ranking, so I like this. All right, let's go. Of course, this means we will take some artillery fire on our tanks. But I think it's worth it overall. And we can dump off the entire right here. And yeah, I think I will... Uh, eh. What should we do here, I wonder? We can't one-shot this thing. I guess we don't really need to kill this artillery. It's more important to kill this uh, tank, I think. Yeah, let's do that. And then we can do this. <laughs> oh, we might actually have the movement to reach his artillery too, yeah, so I think this is definitely, this will definitely constitute killing 10% of his forces in one turn. So I think we've done pretty well on this regard. I think this is going to give us a perfect 300 power ranking. All we need to do now is try to win in a somewhat decent time and keep spamming infantry to get our technique ranking up. Hell, we might even be able to destroy his APC with the anti now, which is pretty good. Yep, I, I definitely think this should constitute a perfect 300 power ranking. Because he's not going to be able to build that much more stuff now. Uh, we do actually need to resupply our battleship at some point, so I'm actually going to build an APC. Stupid as it may seem. In fact, I'm going to build two more APCs. And I'll explain why in a little bit. Alright, so we'll take some fire here. Okay, interesting. It's actually going for these bad, these uh, medium tanks right here. Hmm. I think you got a bad luck roll. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, all right. Attacking my lander. Interesting. Very flak thing to do. Because he's a, he's a lot of mechs right now, which is actually very annoying. I can't really deal with them. Uh, I suppose what I could do, though, if I... Yeah, good. Thanks to uh, Max's high firepower and able to one-shot this guy. Which means I can move my medium tank back and shoot on his tank. That should protect me from his max. Oh, I'm a moron. I'm a moron. I'm a moron. I forgot about the terrain. Yeah, that was not one of my finer moments. I guess that entire is done for. But that's okay. I still have my medium tanks. So now I need to go for an HQ cap, which is can be kind of annoying on this map, actually. Because uh, Flak likes to spam mechs. 
I suppose a way we can try and prevent him from doing that is to just drain his income. Forcing him to build more landers instead. Gotta love the one lander policy, am I right? Okay, so yeah, that... I can still attack the tank, but that Antire is probably toast. So what day are we on right now? We are on day 20. I don't know if we'll get that S rank. <laughs> I think I might have to play a little bit. This this map does have a pretty le lenient S rank requirement, though, I will say. All right, goodbye, Antire. It was nice knowing you. Oh, okay. That's actually good for us. Yeah, I don't know why he did that. He should have attacked with his mech. Okay. I am actually completely fine with this. Yeah, let's just uh, kill as many mechs as we can. It's gonna be a barbaric blow next turn, which could be a little bit annoying. And yeah, I actually... Uh, yeah, that mech is preventing me from unloading my forces, which is very annoying. I'll still be able to unload one APC, but I can't unload both of them, which is very... Yeah, very, very annoying, so I'll have to do this. Hopefully it survives. <laughs> we shall see, we shall see. Alright, let's uh, destroy this uh, lander. I don't think the units in the back will really make it in time, but yeah. If my, if my guesses are correct right now, he should... I actually don't think we should capture this harbor, because we want him to keep building landers. So, I'm actually gonna leave that harbor completely alone. And I think the time has come to just spam infantry, although I think our technique ranking is per perfect at this point, so I don't really think it's necessary. There right, we go. Grah, I'm out of control! So let's pray he doesn't get a good flak. Now, fun, fun fact, in, uh, in Norwegian, uh, flux means uh, luck. That's why we have have this term where we say flak and uflak, which uh, uflak basically means bad luck. Oh, he got a he got a he got an uflak. So we say so we say flak and uflak. Ah, oh, I got an uflak, or I got a flak. Okay, that was a pro. Oh, this could be bad. You see, this is the thing about flak. His power just doesn't do anything. What? He didn't build a lander? Unacceptable. Unacceptable! How dare you not adhere to the one lander policy, Flack. This is sacrilege, I tell you. Doesn't even build lander. What, what kind of a CO is he, man? Yeah, so it might not, it might not have to end in an HQ cap. It might be that I'm able to just wipe him out normally. Maybe I should just unload my infantry, actually. Could be could be an idea. Uh, I could, could use APC as bait, put the infantry here. It's a possibility for sure. And I want to save this entire as much as possible. I think it should be... Uh, it's probably dead. No matter what I do. Alright, let's resupply our battleship. Not that I think it's going to be very useful at this point. Let's build a sub. <laughs> Why not? It doesn't matter what we build at this point. Oh, okay. He's pulling his units back to get repaired. That's good for us, actually. No! APC! And, oh, did he build a lander? He built a freaking lander. That's hilarious. All right, let's pop Max Force. I think we might very well be able to uh, to route him now. Well, not on this turn, but definitely on the next. There we go. Good job. Wow, this sub is not even going to be able to reach. <laughs> Yeah, the sub ain't, ain't even gonna be able to reach. But yeah, depending on what he does, I mean, the AI build order is kind of strange. It's like, it likes to always build infantry if it doesn't have infantry. 
I think it always builds a mech or an infantry if it if it doesn't have any infantry on the map. Which is, it's, it's hard-coded to do that, basically. So you can exploit that by targeting the AI's mechs and infantry. Which will only cause it to build more mech and infantry. Of course, then you won't kill the other units, which can be a little bit annoying. Anyway, probably gonna have to take out this APC at some point, so let's just do that. I'm very curious if I'm gonna get the S rank now. I feel like I played this map very slowly. And uh, we should probably try and take up this guy as well. Yeah, depending on what he does next turn, we'll probably be able to route him. We can try going for this, I guess. Yeah, let's just destroy the APC as well. Yeah, it actually depends. If our battleship gets a very bad luck roll, we might not kill his lander next turn, which would be kind of embarrassing. Oh no, our tanks tanks needs fuel. I will say though, one thing about the missions in Advance Wars 2 is that some of them do tend to drag on for a little bit. I do, I have noticed. Uh, in Advance Wars 1, there's usually a very quick way to win. Whereas some of the hard campaign missions, they do go on for quite a while because Flak does things like this. But yeah, we can definitely route him this turn. We can definitely route him this turn. Unless we get a very bad luck roll here. We did not. Very good. So that is a day 24 victory. I don't know if that's enough for an S rank, if I'm going to be completely honest. I do not know if that is enough for an S rank. I guess we'll find out. I'm going to build something just to be sure about the technique, although I'm pretty sure I aced that. I don't really like the fact that I was build max artillery. <laughs> you guys like it when I build artillery as max, right? Uh, okay, we do have to be a little careful here. Uh, there we go. Yeah, any mission that requires you to route like this... I mean, there is a way you can go for a super quick HQ cap on, cap on this map if you, like, abuse the AI. I've definitely seen some people do it. But I prefer a more traditional approach. Alright, there we go. That should be a route. How's that, ape man? Told you not to mess with me. Huh. Huh? Don't ha me. You just got beaten. This was just a test. Next time is for real. Like I've never heard that before. I'm gonna make you regret ever showing your ugly mug around here. Max or whatever you said your name was, you're mine. Before this is over, I'll crush you like a bug. So long. Wait, 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 you dirtbag. Shoot, he got away. Mission they always get away. And that's a perfect 300 S rank. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Yeah, this, this, this mission has a pretty lenient speed requirement. Very nice. Flak, huh? Dumb name. Tough CO. <laughs> I love this. I love these quotes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that was Orange Dawn, completed in 24 days with a perfect S rank. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time with another mission. Up next is uh, Andy, I believe. Bye-bye.